All right, welcome back to another reality workshop. When work is real, it keeps getting real expensive. I am working on a 74 Jeep J10 with a 258 six cylinder. I've already removed the intake, the exhaust. Here's the exhaust. I take the motor mount out. Here's the motor mount. Intake's over there, but what I'm going to focus on is this exhaust. This is what was getting me the troubles. <clears throat> the exhaust, this particular manifold, is California Admission. And taking it apart, since it's been in there so long, I broke that bolt off in it. And it's, there it is, down in there. There it is, down in there. Um... There's what, in reality, when you're really working on something this old, or anything for that matter, this is kind of what you get into. There's the wore out exhaust stud. So you can see where it's necked itself down. They usually break. I broke another one there. The manifold. If you can see right there, I can get in there. There is it, don't it? Yep. There's a crack. Running right on the edge of my finger. It's starting to crack there. It's starting to crack there. To fix this, I called my machinist, who is a really good machinist. Morgan and Sons. Talk to Charlie. Now. They can get these out about $17 a hole. So to fix the studs back here, take that out, fix those, knock this out, and weld these weld this up is probably about $100. Problem is, is my manifold worth the extra work. I can pick a new manifold up for through Rock Auto for about $196. Or I can put a header on it. Header costs, I think the cheapest one I've seen was $179 and up for these six owners. Which would, did, which would you know, relieve this plate. I wouldn't need that no more. Which is this piece here. That plate bolts on the bottom of that and then bolts up. I soaked these oil and oil, but you see they're wore out. Look at that. They've been in there so long they just burnt, the bolts just burn up. That's what, you know, you can't help it. It's gonna happen. It's inevitable. So my decision is, what do I do? Well, I don't know yet. I'd like to put it back. Um, while I've got it off, I'm gonna knock that EGR valve out, plate it and uh, clean this up and repaint it. Intake's probably in pretty good shape. I don't have a whole lot of money this time of year, which I don't have a whole lot of money any time of the year, because this is the reality workshop. But the gasket blowed out, and it was just insane. I tried snugging all the bolts up, and it was just blowing out so bad you can't even drive it. I can take a little bit of an exhaust leak, but I can't take a whole lot of an exhaust leak. And it was a whole lot of an exhaust leak for me to go into all this trouble. So I removed the motor mount in order to get to that flange. I've got a jack under it so the motor don't roll over it. Um, but the exhaust leaks, you know, the gaskets burn up, so I'm showing you. See, the exhaust is blowing out down here. It should never go past. Like, that's clean. That's the way it should look. If your exhaust gaskets are all good, that shouldn't be blowing out like down here over here you see it's blowing out everywhere so the exhaust gasket manifold gasket was burned up that causes um, poor fuel mileage to exhaust dumping everywhere where it shouldn't be it don't run good so this needed to be addressed at some point I just didn't want to address it you know a week out before Christmas, 
but Merry Christmas to me, ha ha. <laughs> but this is the uh, reality of it. You just, it's, crap does it when it does, does it. You don't pick and choose, man. I'd like to have it at 70 degrees and sunshiny and nice day, but now it's, I don't know, it's 55 degrees. Looks like it's trying to rain and I got one good week before the bottom falls out and it's gonna get cold, so. Decisions are made. I don't know what to do yet, but uh, this is what I'm doing today in the world of reality. So when I figure it out, I'll make another video, I hope, and uh, show you what I've done. I'd really love to put a header on that, put a split header, uh, dump some twins down in there, get me dual exhaust. This motor would breathe a hundred percent better, run out a heck of a lot better, but funding does not allow me to do that at this point in time so um, my machine said it could probably fix that for a hundred dollars whether or not that exhaust manifold is worth fixing because it's cracking everywhere else it means it's it's rotted it's it's done for the most part when I start seeing them cracks it's it's time to think another option um, you know look if you can see it, we get turned around here in the sun. There you go, I think. They're right at the end of my finger. She's cracking there and cracking there again. So, like I said, uh, just it's just minor stuff, but it takes money to fix it. In reality, nobody has any money. So, that's what I'm doing today. I'll make it, like I said, I'll figure out another video to make and I'll get it all figured out.